Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of our Community Access. This week, we will help you get ready for the prom. We will show you prom gowns from Glorious Collections. Then we went to Boulevard Boutique. Then we visit with Lisa to check our new spring fashions at Ella Fashion. The Oxford Park and Recreation had their great yearly Easter egg drop. Then we'll visit with Dawn and Jeff from the Park and Recreation Oxford. And finally, it's our Dog of the Week from the K-9 Rescue League. All today on our Community Access. Welcome back. Are you ready for the prom? If not, let's check out some beautiful gowns from Glorious Collections in Oxford. Thanks, Bill. I'm Kim, and this is Amanda, and we're from Glorious Collections in Oxford, Michigan, located on Washington Street. And today we're going to talk to you about the greatest trends for prom 2016, and we're pumped up to show them to you. So we're just going to take a walk through the store and show you what the best dresses are. First, let's start with this red ball gown from Mary's Bridal. It's red, it also comes in yellow. The best part about this dress is the front. We love the beading in the front, but the very best part about it is the back. And when you look at the back, you can see it's very unique with the rhinestones, the silver rhinestones. It's a very good dress and it comes in sizes from zero to 18 and it's available now. All right, this piece right here is made by the designer Giovanni. We have probably about five Giovanni dresses in the store. Um, Giovanni dresses are sold uh, a lot in Michigan and Ohio, but this particular one is very unique for the fact that it has an illusion front. Uh, so you, it has the look of a clear dress, but it actually has the support and coverage. A lot of girls like that. The best thing about this dress is the mermaid cut and the lace underlay. It also has uh, turquoise beads, and blue beads in a, a nice turquoise pattern. So it really looks good when it's on a girl's body. The best part about this dress in the back is the fact that it's open, but it also has straps. And a lot of girls, they like the look of a strapless dress, but they also want the straps to have the support. So this dress is available in this color in different sizes. All right, this dress right here is a mermaid dress. It's made by the designer Paparazzi. It has beads all the way down from the top all the way to the bottom. It features a high neck, which is also a good trend for 2016. Um, in the front, there's uh, the beads that goes up to the front. It also has the coverage and illusion neckline. And in the back, it also is open. But the best part about this dress, I would say, is the lace and the lace design, the crisscross design all around the dress. Uh, Mermaid is still very popular. It's been in style for the last couple years and it's still one of our most popular styles in the store. Okay, this is another one of our Giovanni dresses. It's one of the most popular dresses in the store, I would say. Would you agree, Amanda? I would agree with that. This dress is turquoise. It is chiffon at the bottom. And it also features a split, which is very unique for a two-piece dress. But it's not a, really a two-piece. If you look at the back, it's connected in the back. So it has the illusion of a two-piece look in the front, but it's actually connected on the back when you turn it around. It also features beading around the neckline, and it's very beautiful on a girl that's about a size 4 or 6, but it also comes in larger sizes also. But this, store, this dress is available now, and our store is one of our most popular. This is another two-piece. It's by the designer Val Stefani. And what we like about this designer is that it's not a lot of boutiques in Michigan that cover, that actually carry this designer, Val Stefani. This is a two-piece dress. It comes in lilac, which you see is what you see right now. But it also comes in a dark blue royal color, which is almost purple, which is very vibrant. Um, what we love about this dress is the top, the strapless, the beads around the top, and the lace overlay. Um, it comes in sizes zero through 18. And two pieces are hot now. A lot of the girls like two pieces, but as you can notice, that it's not high, it also goes low. So it's actually is more coverage than what it looks like when you put it on. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, this is another dress by the designer Val Stefani. Uh, we love the color of this dress. This is a good dress on a lot of different girls, different hairstyles, the blondes, brown hair, dark color hair. Um, it's turquoise, but it also comes in a coral color. The bodice of this dress is very shiny, so it looks really good. Um, uh, your, it stands out if you're going somewhere with a spotlight or a runway. So this is another version of a ball gown. It also comes in coral. This dress right here is also made by Val Stefani. Um, it's in a coral color right here. Um, it is made of jersey. Jersey is a very uh, trendy material uh, for this year. What the girls like about it is that it is comfortable and it's almost, you get the feel like you have on pajamas. So you can dance, sit down, and still be beautiful. What we love about this dress is the V-neck in the front, but also, if you take a look at the back, the back is awesome and stunning and it's sure to stand out on any girl. This dress is available in a turquoise color from size zero to 18. Um, I think Jersey is really popular. It's been really popular in the last couple of weeks. What would you the say? The Jersey Amanda? form fitting, I would say, is definitely the most popular besides the two-piece style. Here at Glorious Collections, we offer a wide variety of shoes for different occasions, from prom to homecoming, weddings, to any other kind of special event. Um, we have wide variety like I said everything from some nice jewel tone cowboy boots all the way over here to these high little guys over here everything for every color so if you're looking for a prom gown or if you know somebody that's looking for a very unique dress come see us at Glorious Collections we'll be more than happy to help you um, we give each customer a very specialized attention and we'll make you fabulous and we make sure as well, each dress in the store, we only sell one of each dress in the same color to mm -hmm. each specific school. So once you buy a dress, it's registered into our system. And nobody else will have that color in that dress. Come see us. Thank you, ladies. Now, if your budget is a little short this year, let's go to the Boulevard Boutique to check out some slightly used gowns. Thank you, Bill, for being at the Boulevard Boutique. This is a consignment store, and we have consignment prom dresses. Um, all of your accessories that I'm going to show you are new. Your purses are new. Shoes are consigned. Um, but our dresses are wonderful. This is a Vera Wang. It's a size 6, and it is consigned for $58. Um, beautiful purple. We have partnered some rhinestone jewelry with it, um, a bag with a hint of the purple, and shoes. Okay, then we have, this is a purple and lavender with some aqua blue. It's by Rush, the designer Rush. It is a size 12. We have it tagged for $48. We didn't put a necklace with this dress because of all of the beading on the bodice, so we popped it with a great big chunky um, pair of earrings and a bracelet, a silver shoe, and a lilac bag. Okay. Next we have a navy blue. Just stunning. This is a size 10. It's gathered at the waist. It is a, let's see who the designer is, Escape. We've put it with a pair of the silver chunky, the chunky slingbacks are back in style. We look like we're going back into the 70s. Um, fun pair of shoes. Next we have, this is an M and M designer gown. It has the original tag on it for $510. We've consigned it for 250. It is really two pieces, so this overlay can come off. The um, draping can be either worn across one shoulder or across both, or it can be taken off. Um, we put a great pair of earrings, pair of shoes to bring out the gold in the dress, and an evening bag. Okay. Next we have a size 5-6. It's a Mora Lee. The 
um, beading goes all the way around the back. I will turn this gown. This gown is gorgeous in the back. So it looks pretty from the front and the back. We tagged it with a pair of drop earrings. You could add a necklace, but you would not have to. Um, and we would put a rhinestone chunky bracelet on with this. Okay. Next we have, it is a David Miser. It's a fuchsia. It has the original tag on of $400. It's a size 10. We have it tagged for 125. We put a pair of matching shoes with it. It's great um, embellished at the, the waist, chunky bracelet, and a pair of earrings. Okay, the next dress is fun. It is your camouflage. Um, it ties. We popped it with pink shoes because it has a pink lace up the back, and I will flip this so that you can see. But um, great dress. It was a um, custom made. She paid $400 for it, and we have it tagged for $125. And it could go a small or medium because of the lacing. You could um, let it out or pull it in. And we popped the pink um, jewelry to bring in the pink lace in the back. Okay. Now this was a designer gown also. Um, she had this custom made. It is a size, if I can remember, I think it's a 12, 14. Um, it's a beautiful gown. It's very flattering on with a lot of the extra accents. And we brought in, you can see some of the gray, so we brought in the gray shoes and the smoky jewelry. So we have lots more dresses. Um, in we go all the way up from small all the way up to probably an 1820 we can um, fit so we are going to have our second annual fashion show it's going to be at boulder point april 21st and it benefits the pink trailblazers if anyone knows pat Knopf, she's very big in the oxford lake orion area and does great fundraising and this event always sells out it's fun we do it with Lisi at Ellis Fashions. So she has the new fashions and I have the um, consigned fashions, but it's a great fashion show to show you how a consignment store can pull a complete outfit together with jewelry, um, handbags, and total outfit. Now let's say that all the prom is ready. Now let's go to Lisa from Ella Fashion to check on some great new spring fashions. Lisa? Hello, hi Bill. Welcome again to Ella Fashion. I miss you very much. And we're going to talk about spring. And we're so excited. We cannot wait. I cannot wait. I hope you ladies cannot wait either. And I would like to show you some of the, the colors that we've been using that's been very strong lately. But I pick it up. It's so much to talk about. But I decided to do with more with the solid colors for you ladies because it's that transition between until you get the summer and then you can just go with your friends. But we're going to start here with the crochet line that we did. It's a um, very nice, um, I think it's very feminine, and I love to use this word because I believe every woman should feel and be feminine and using fashion to show that. And the good thing about it, you can wear right now with something underneath or just a camisole in the summertime too as well. It still shows some skin, but not too much. And of course, the detail is just great. And this, this particular top, for instance, has a little bit of shiny, so you can even wear a night if you have a little party to go with your friends or just go out for dinner. It can dress it up a little bit. With the khakis, Bermudas, pants, skirts, it's just gonna be very, very lovely. And of course, I choose the color pink because it's a very girly color. Um, the other piece that I designed is this dress. Uh, it's a little bit more form-fitting and I love the colors, I love the tie-dye. Tie-dye is gonna be something very, it's back again, and I love to use in the crochet because it keeps a little bit more, you know, I think it gives that difference in crochet, just a little edge, put the crochet in the edge a little bit. And I really like that. I love the fact that you can see through. 
um, at the end of the dress so it shows a little bit more skin but of course we have a lining all the way down there and you can hear your undergarments and feel comfortable about it and again it has a little bit of the the beading in here so it shows you know um, a little bit of sparkle so you can again dress it up for the day or night and always that's how to keep that in mind so we want to be versatile right and of course the shoes you can always be flats a little heel uh, add a little color if you want to accessorize as much as you want to but even if you buy the beach or going for a wedding in the beach nothing better than just flats and then you're going to look gorgeous on the crochet dress and then since it's spring it can be a little cold or it can be really really hot we never know here in michigan it has nothing wrong for it to have a light jacket you know to cover a little bit of your arms and i choose this color well number one i really like pink i think it's a very you know nice color for spring and summer and also you know the fuchsia color it's really um it's very girly but anyhow, if you need to add a little thing, you know, a little jacket, and if you tie your two jean jacket because it will be a little bit too sporty, go ahead, get your corduroy jackets out of your closet too, ladies, from fall, and wear it. Don't be afraid it. It's still a little light, it's not too heavy, and the color, go slow in the springtime. If you want, if you need a piece to transition, those are the two colors, it's very good for transitioning. And then, of course, flats. Since you have a very dark colors in the top, try to be a little bit lighter in your shoes with golds or silver or even the white, and you won't go wrong with that, okay? And then the other piece I would like to point it out, it's the Palazzo pants that we, it's always in fashion, but now they're coming really, really wide on the bottom. They're very comfortable. We design our with a um, elastic band a little bit wider, so it really holds you and makes that you know tied a little bit in the hip area but then it follows it down and then when you see it you know for distance it looks like you're wearing a long skirt but actually those are pants and you can wear them just to go wrap a bikini or put a nice top with a little bling on it and you can just go and have fun with your friends and i love with the navy blue again with the coral collar i love coral it looks great with a lot of ladies it doesn't matter your skin tone and of course don't you know try to get a little heel in there because it's a palazzo pan it's very nice to put a little height in that those chunky heels are so in so girls get ready and then of course if you want something a little bit for you know dressy for a wedding or for a nice party graduation parties we're going to come up with a lot of those too as well nothing better than just you know a satin dress um, I choose this color because I believe you don't want to wear black. We wear black all winter long and fall. So nothing better to just have a navy blue. It's a corset format design, so it gives that you know accentuate your your silhouette. And I think it's it's nice. It looks great. And doesn't matter if you already have a little tan or not. Those are good. And of course, gold, silver, um, you know, bronze, all metals. It's really in right now too. So just just use it and abuse them. And of course, with the shoes, with the navy blues, nothing wrong with the red. And again, you can even mix it up, the navy blues, with black. Don't get, don't worry about it. Blue and black, they, they can be friends. I know a long time ago, people were saying fashion, no, you cannot mix it up. Oh yes, you can. So don't forget, looking for something always different in your closet. If you never had a crochet piece before, try to invest something different. And the Palazzo pants, I really, really guarantee you, you're gonna rock in those pants this spring and summer and if you have any question please call me and Ella Fashion and thank you Bill so much for coming again and I see you guys soon. Thanks Lisa. Next up the Oxford Park and Recreation had their great Easter egg drop on Saturday before Easter. Let's watch. Hey guys I'm here at Seymour Lake Park in Oxford for this year's annual egg drop. Let's go see what's going on. Margie, so it brings you out today. Oh, hi. Thanks for um, talking to me for a minute. I'm um, out here meeting some of my old families from the class I teach. I teach a mommy and me class for Oxford Parks and Rock in Lake Orion Community Ed. It's always good to come out and see the families I know 
and um, let other families know that the class I teach is a wonderful opportunity for children ages one to five to come out to an hour-long class, a parent and toddler class, and uh, letting them know I have lots of special events and classes coming up through Oxford Parks and Rec and Lake Orion Community Ed. So did you uh, help out with any of the planning for this, or is it that you just come out for the kids? Uh, today I came out just to see the kids. Um, probably knew 50 families out here and was able to meet another 150 just to tell them what a great opportunity it is to participate in these events and other events through the township as well as my class and love every minute of being out here. It's a great event. Well, thank you so much for your time, Ms. Margie. Thank you. <laughs> guys that's it this year for the easter egg drop see you again next year by the way that reporter was our new intern ashley point good job speaking of park and recreation here is dawn and jeff with some great information about our parks hello i'm dawn medicy with oxford township parks and recreation and i'm with jeff kynas our park superintendent and we're out here at seymour lake township park at kids kingdom and we would like just to share with you some updates about some of our programs and some of our offerings and our, what's going on out here at Seymour Lake Township Park. Um, first, I'd like to let you know that Oxford Township Parks and Recreation now has a monthly newsletter. And if you are interested in hearing about what's going on uh, with uh, Parks and Recreation, please go to our website to sign up for that newsletter. Our website address is um, oxparkrec.org. In addition to the new, uh, new monthly newsletter, um, our spring summer brochure is going to be out on Friday, April the 8th. It'll be mailed to all Oxford Township residents and all village uh, residents. So please check your mailboxes over the weekend for all those spring and summer offerings uh, for this year. Um, for all of you uh, Detroit Tiger fans, Parks and Recreation will be going down to see a Tiger game in June. On the 23rd, it's a 110 game. Um, so come on in to Parks and Recreation to get more information and, or to sign up. And for all you casino fans, in November, we'll be heading to Kowadin Casino um, up in uh, Sault Ste. Marie. So please uh, stop in and get to get that information and uh, plan to join us on that overnight excursion. And Jeff? Now the reason I'm here today is uh, to let you guys know why and how we do the things we do in Kids Kingdom. I'm sure all of you have been out here early in the season and saw this sign. The sign isn't out here to keep the kids out, it's to keep the kids safe. What that means is, is we haven't opened the playground yet and it's not safe for the kids to play on. And the second half of this is to explain our bathroom issues to you too. The playground is open right now, but the bathrooms are still closed right now due to weather conditions. As soon as those are available and the conditions don't go below freezing for very long, we take our samples into Oakland County Health Department from the water, they test them, they tell it's safe for us to open for you guys. And then it'll be full run out here. You can have as much fun as you guys want to have. Just a reminder, it is early March yet, and we just want to let you know that we have nets up out on our tennis courts, and as always, our 18-hole disc golf course is open year-round. We just recently put out four practice goals out on our 14 acres for soccer practices. Our baseball and softball fields are at the discretion of the weather. If they are too wet, you're going to want to probably stay off them for right now until we can get out and work them up good for your safety. All right, and we'll be back in two weeks and we'll be out at Oakwood Lake Township Park to share with you what we have going on out at that park. Good job, guys. Now is our Dog of the Week from the Canine Rescue League. Hi, my name is Karen. We're at Canine Stray today with Zoe. Um, we're in Oxford. And just a little bit of information about us. We are a nonprofit. We um, have a kennel here. We're open every day. 
but Tuesdays and Wednesdays. We do have a, um, a website where you can go and look at all of our dogs. Today, this is Zoe, and actually, Zoe knows a couple of tricks. Zoe, can you sit? Can you sit, Zoe? Oh, good girl, very good girl. Actually, with a treat, I think you could teach her anything. She's about three years old. She's an Australian Shepherd Beagle mix. She's put on a little weight lately. Her, um, her best buddy that she used to go for walks with got adopted, so she's still looking for her home, and I bet I can get her to come over here. Hey, Zoe, there we go. And Zoe, as with all of our dogs that we adopt out, is spayed, or if they're male, they would be neutered. They're all up to date on their rabies and distemper shots. And we also check them for heartworm. Hold on, pretty girl. And we also include a free well dog exam if you adopt a dog from us. Hi, yeah. We also have, um, besides coming to the kennel, we are also at Petco in Auburn Hills on the first and third Saturday of the month. And on the second and fourth Saturday of the month, we go to um, Pet Stuff Harvest Time just down the road from us. Yes, yeah, as you can see, she's very gentle taking the treats from me. Yeah, there you go. Very nice, yes, you're a good girl. Um, we also always could really appreciate having people come and volunteer with us. I know we've had some Girl Scout troops come through lately and check us out. We've had kids come here and do their birthday parties. Um, you know, we're just a really um, involved in the community. We love to have people in the community come and help us out and work with us. We've got people that come and walk dogs. Um, we're all volunteers. Hey, Zoe, what can you do? Let's look, turn around and look at the camera for everybody, okay? Come on, let's say hello. Oh, come here, hold on, pretty girl. All right, let's see. Okay, can we come around here? Of course, she's gonna wanna get the treat. There you go, come on. Sit there, can you look at that beautiful dog? Yes. So Zoe, like all the other dogs here, she's looking for a family. Oh boy, my goodness, you are just so cute. Yes, come on, let's sit. So we would love to have anybody come and visit us here at the kennel. We're at 2120 Metamore Road in Oxford. Um, my name is Karen and we would love to have you come and meet us, thank you. Just some great dogs from the K-9 Rescue League. Want to know where they are? They are located 2120 Menomore Road, just north of Myers. Well, that's all the time for this week. We hope you enjoyed our programs and we helped you getting ready for the prom. So for our reporters, Dawn and Jeff, and our new intern, Ashley Point, and our reporter and editor, Terry Styles, I am Bill Service, and you have a great, great week.